I'm Rachel Woods. And I'm your Weekly Badger. Hey Rachel, what's up? Welcome to Weekly Badger. I'm excited to have you. Thanks so much for having me. I'm excited to be here. Honestly, like, let's just get right into it. All right. All right, so we're gonna start with some basic get to know you questions. Yep. The fans, they wanna get to know you, stuff like that. So um, tell us, where were you born and raised? I was born in Paris. Uh, it's a small town, kind of by Brantford. Very rural, very small, but of course it's the Ontario one. Not, not the France one. Paris, Ontario. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, like, how was life growing up in Paris? Like, I'm from Toronto, so I'm a big city guy. I don't really know much small towns. So tell me, how was that for you? Yeah, I mean, it was definitely an experience that I really enjoyed. It's very small. There's not a lot of sports that happen. My high school is very limited. We didn't have a lot of sports, or we had the basics. So, yeah. it definitely had me very closed off to what else was out there but you made the best of it it's a small town everyone loves everyone so it's like going to toronto like a big trip for you guys definitely very different it's kind of scary <laughs> no I, I get that i heard that a lot so like what made you choose brock as university yeah well i think everyone from my hometown came to brock so that definitely had a big influence on it but i came here and as soon as i came here i saw like five people that i knew from home so i was like all right like this is definitely where I want to be, the people are unreal. You walk to class, you see 10 people that you know, like you go to the library, you just sit with your friends and buddies and the sports are a good time. People are pretty chill. So it's a good school to be at. It's funny that you mentioned that because like for me, like I came to Brock cause no one was coming to Brock from my high school or anything like that. So I kind of mm. want to just escape that. Kind of like meet new people and have a new identity sort of, does that make yeah. sense? I just have the small town vibes, you know? So when you see someone you know, you just kind of stick with it. Yeah, I know. Okay, so like what program are you here in at Brock? So I'm in Con Ed Phys Ed, Concurrent Education for Junior Intermediate. So I eventually want to be a high school phys ed teacher. Okay, so um, what made you choose that program? Yeah, I mean, who wouldn't want summers off and be able to coach sports all day, every day? It's a dream job. Get some teams to OFSA, I mean, that's the goal. But it's just a dream job to help kids, you know, be better at sports, motivate them, and just hang out in the high school all day. When did you start playing lacrosse? I actually started when I came to Brock. I had my friend Tay Weeb was like, hey, let me train you. Let's play. I said, all right. So a couple of training camps later, uh, Tay Weeb shaped me into the player I am today. And I owe her for all my and any success that I have. Wow. Shout out to Tay. Shout, Shout out, out to Tay. Tay. <laughs> She's wow, on like, the team. Like, that's actually like quite amazing because a lot of people who play university sports have been playing that sport for a long time mm -hmm. and you it's just like one year into Brock and it's like you know what I'm lacrosse star now yeah it's definitely hard to pick up but when you grow up playing sports like hockey and soccer and basketball it all kind of integrates into lacrosse somehow so I just worked at it I like that I like that what would you say your experience has been playing at Brock it's been unreal I mean you know, the best part about any sport experience here at Brock is the red backpack, of course. You feel like a celebrity in the hallway, but the team itself is unreal. Girls are great. We always have fun with it. We hang out all the time outside of actual lacrosse, so love that. And it's a short season. It's a lot in one sort of season, but it's kind of nice to have it and then relax for the rest of the year after that. Yeah, I know. She mentions the red bag. I have one too. Brock Ultimate Frisbee, you know. Uh, the red bag is definitely... It's definitely something. It creates a lot of attention. I know, like having lacrosse on it isn't as cool as Ultimate, but it's still up there. <laughs> so now you said you're in phys ed. Um, are you a good student? Um, I would consider myself good in some aspects. Your professors are watching this, so I just want you to know. Cause... I'm very hard into the studies, library every night, hundreds okay. on all my exams, good. you know. We have some trivia based on phys ed. All right, okay. bring it. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. She thinks she's ready. It's not going to be easy. This is Daniel's class. Let's check it out. What is the ability to change direction quickly and control the movement of a whole body called? Uh, I got this one. Agility. Okay. That's one for easy, one. Easy. First question is always easy, yeah, oh, but yeah. okay. All right. Which is the first step in designing a personal fitness program for someone else as a gym teacher? Well, if I was designing a program for you, I'd probably be like, all right, what are your strengths, weaknesses? What, what can you do? What can't you do? Where's your fitness level at where do you think my fitness level is ultimate at? frisbee has to be like skyrocketed, skyrocketed best at the best all right i i appreciate that you know what i'm gonna make this next question easy for you because i like the compliment all right all right all right uh question number four what is a resting heart rate right here right now i mean we're having a resting heart rate right now just chilling relaxing it's just at your moderate usual heart rate yeah 
The last question for you. I expect you to get this question because I'm gonna. This, this is easy. All right. This is like right down your alleyway. I'm gonna blow right? it out of the water. Define physical education. It's the best there is in the world. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're gonna move into our speed question round. All right. This I'm is, ready for it. So yeah. You have 30 seconds and you have to say the first thing that comes to mind when I say this word. Okay. Okay. okay? You ready? Yep. All right. Let's go. Favorite food? Tacos. Favorite travel destination? Italy. Okay. Uh, if you weren't playing lacrosse at Brock, what sport would you do? Dragon play? Boat, 100%. Not ultimate? Dragon Boat's way up there. <laughs> Last song you listened to? Um, rock and Roll, Chase Rice. Okay. Favorite music artist? Hardy. Celebrity Crush? Aston Kutcher. Favorite movie? Ooh, the last song. Okay. <laughs> Favorite subject in school? Definitely phys ed. How would you say your season is going so far? You know, it's going pretty good. I mean, this is probably the tightest knit girls we've had, which really shows on the field. Like, we've had other teams tell us that our chemistry looks unreal. Love that. I mean, there's always some bumps in the road that any team has, so we're, we're looking to overcome those. Every game is a one or two goal difference, so we just got to put more balls in the back of the net. So, we're here, demonstration process phase. <laughs> uh, Rachel's gonna teach me how to shoot a lacrosse ball. I'm excited, I'm interested. I've never, this is my first time ever holding a lacrosse stick. I'm excited that I get to teach you. How does it feel? Honestly, it feels nice. The grip is well, like I feel like I could be the next lacrosse star. You could be. All right, let's go. All right. All right, so you're gonna have your non dominant hand down on the bottom at the knob. Yeah, you're gonna have your dominant hand about halfway at the shaft. Yeah? So, I'm gonna throw it to you. When you catch, catch behind your shoulder, cushion it. You wanna cushion it, don't tennis racket it, cushion it back, okay? Do you wanna, okay, ready? That was good. Okay, so when you throw, you wanna step into it, one. Two, have your arm up and swipe through it. Okay? Yep. Okay, so now this is the shooting concept. I mastered the passing concept. Teach me how to shoot now, Rach. Mastered, eh? All right, let's get carried over. When it comes to the shot, you're gonna do the same motion that you did with throwing, where you're gonna follow through on a diagonal. So you're gonna have it behind you, and you're just gonna come through with the diagonal, making sure that your stick head is facing down. You okay. wanna point where you wanna go. Okay, all right. So, this should be pretty easy, right? It's me, all right. That was very good. There you go. That was good. That was very good. Well, we probably would have saved that one because it was right in the middle, but it was on net. Yeah, okay. Better yeah, than your first shot ever. shots. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, all right, so shot kind of show me, like, if you want to angle it somewhere now, show me that precision. All right, so I'm going to hit top left. You want to eye it up, point your stick where you want to go, and just follow through. Okay, so I mastered passing, I mastered shooting. Now it's time to challenge Daniel, and challenge Daniel around. For today, we have the crossbar challenge. First person to hit a uh, ball on the crossbar wins. You ready? I'm ready. Are you ready, Ultimate Frisbee? Oh, I am ready. Let's get it going. You're up first, Reach. All right. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Well, guys, it was a fun time. I had fun today. Rachel, thank you so much for joining me. It was a pleasure to have you, and I got to learn so much more about lacrosse. Yeah, thanks so much for having me. It was my first time on Brock TV. Such an honor, and I really enjoyed my time here. That's all from me. I'm Rachel Woods, and I'm your weekly badger.